Hello, my name is Kerryoth, and today I'm just fed up with something. I'm a little bit irritated because I've been looking for something particular. Something specific, of course. It's Dreadnought related. I'm looking for the Metal Venerable Dreadnoughts, because they are perfect for Chaplain Dreadnoughts. Of course, in the search for these, I occasionally go onto eBay, because they show up on eBay quite a bit. There is, however, a phenomenon on eBay, which is the Pro Painted tag. Now, before we get into this, I want to be totally clear. I'm not attempting to slag off people's painting ability. God knows I'm in no position to do that. I can paint a couple of things sort of well, but overall, I'm nowhere near as good as a lot of people out there. In fact, I would argue that I still have such a vast distance to go before I'd even count myself as being a decent painter, that to sit there and be like, you're terrible, you're rubbish, can't do that. Besides, that's not a nice mindset to have. But, all that said, the pro-painted thing on eBay is a constant source of frustration, because, frankly, I think it is a term that has almost lost meaning in that particular setting now. When I think pro-painted, I think, well, as the name suggests, pro is short for professional, so professionally painted. Someone, their job is to paint something. Admittedly, it does get a little bit a little bit kind of funny when you go to people who like do golden demon entries. I mean, you could you could say, well, if they're putting their model up there and they say it's pro-painted, you can't argue that it's not pro-painted because it looks professionally done. That is true, and that's where the whole thing gets very, very messy. Because you can find on eBay using pro-painted Warhammer 40k in the search everything between a model that has been that has been painstakingly, carefully, carefully painted beautifully. There are some absolutely stunning models available. Like, there, there are, like, full armies that have been beautifully done, like Imperial Knights that look absolutely incredible. You can find some decent stuff on there. But, but, <laughs> you can also find models that are up there for, like, 35 to 45 pounds that have quite clearly had a base coat, a single coat of colour, no shading, no washes, no edge highlighting, and a bit of gold on the trim, and they will go in the same category as pro-painted, and they will cost about the same. Sometimes a little bit more. And it's just so ludicrous and infuriating, because on the one hand, you cannot, you cannot like, undervalue your work. Undervaluing your work as someone who who does this stuff for a living is obviously a, a real problem, and a lot of, a lot of people do undervalue the things that they do. You know, commission artists, commission painters. It's a very real problem where you can look at it and go, "Well, I enjoy doing it, so I shouldn't charge all that much," or "Oh, I'm not actually that good, so I shouldn't charge I shouldn't charge very much for this because it's not fair." Undervaluing yourself is a real problem, but at the same time, when it comes to especially looking for stuff on eBay, pro-painted is such a vastly nebulous phrase that at this point has lost all meaning. There is, when I was looking earlier, because I was looking for looking for a bit of Dreadnought action, I did also just have a, have a general browse. I do it occasionally to see if anything interesting pops up. And there is, at the moment, there are listings for some Empress Children painted stuff. Now, it's it's weird because it's like an Empress Children Reaver squad and a Custodes jet bike and also some Greater Possessed. It's, it's a weird, eclectic mix of things available. But they've been painted super well. Lo lovely, like, flat, clean purple, some really nice work on gold and stuff. Really well done. Really nicely done. In that same page, on that same page, using that same search term, there is like... I think it's an Inquisitor Kotiaz, who has got no arms, the body is just sprayed white, and the head, it does specify pro-painted head, in fairness, but that model is 45 quid. Now, a fully painted, a fully painted Emperor's Children coloured Custodes jet bike, which actually looks properly, professionally painted and based, only costs like a five or more than the Kotiaz, who, by the way, has no arms, it's just the main body, and an a, a pro-painted head. What does that even mean in that context? It's pro-painted, but one section of the model is pro-painted, and so that model is therefore worth £25 more than a normal one? Like, I, 
how is that pricing determined? It's a similar thing with things like conversions. Conversions are really interesting. You can find some incredibly odd conversions on eBay, which I'd love seeing. But some of them are just flat out not even not even a thing. You'll find something from a totally different game that is like Warhammer 40,000 Dreadnought Pro Painted. It's not a Dreadnought. You don't know what it's from. Probably War Machine or something. It's also not what I would traditionally class as a pro painted model but yet there it is in that same in that same category it makes looking through stuff such an absolute pain and the thing is there's no way to clean it up that's that's the that's the the issue there's no way of kind of verifying whether something is pro painted and in fact how would you even decide that would you need a panel of people who would sit there and go well it kind of looks like it could be pro painted maybe do you need to have like some sort of accreditation? Like, oh, is, is this is this your pro painted model? Yes, it is. Can I see your can I see your certificate of being a pro? Certainly, there you are, sir. There you go. Have that. I mean, maybe you could do that, but that would obviously be a total faff and a pain. And why would eBay ever bother doing anything like that anyway? It's just such a such a worthless phrase now. Like in certain aspects, it just doesn't mean anything. Like in some places, in some places, when we're talking like just enclosed hobby spaces places like uh, like trade pages on facebook or any of the any of the like the communities that have built up where there is buying and selling and swapping going on things like that actually do mean something they do have a a genuine uh, a genuine kind of uh kind of depth to them you know if someone says it's pro painted the chances are they it has been they professionally paint models and that is what you're getting. As soon as you stray away from those spaces, it just becomes a complete nonsense where anything from a a like fully detailed, you know, really well done model all the way to a like a chaos lord who has been sprayed black and has been given a light dash of gold over some of the uh some of the edging on the armor, both of those count as pro painted. One of them probably costs about the same as the other, and you're just kind of sitting there scrolling through going, I mean, I can't really tell you that it's not pro-painted, because if you sell these, that's the other thing as well, as a tag, pro-painted. If you make your living selling models by doing the bare minimum, throwing them on eBay for for however much, I mean, are you actually at that point technically a pro? Is I mean, surely, surely you would be. If that's what you do, if you grab models, if you just do the bare minimum three three colours, nothing else, chuck them on eBay, you know, Chaos Lord Pro Painted, Chaos Space Marine Pro Painted, and you sell them, well, at that point, you are professionally painting these models. The thing is, they don't look anything like the other Pro Painted stuff that you can find, which probably costs about the same, but is higher in quality. And how do you work out the pricing of that anyway? Are the people who are doing an incredible job and doing like, you know, amazing looking models, are they just charging way too little? Is it that pro painted actually, as a term, is absolutely fine, even in the context of eBay? It's just that it looks really odd and really kind of inconsistent because people are charging too much for what they do and other people aren't charging enough for what they do. And so technically they're all pro painted it's just that that person clearly is not valuing their time and their work highly enough what i mean what does it even mean and let's i mean this is completely ignoring the commission side of things i mean that again is we touched on it briefly earlier commission painting is a like a it's a professional offshoot of a of a of a hobby environment it is like an an entire industry that is built around what is other people's relaxation time and that by itself is is just an absolute kind of like wild wild thing to try and navigate there are entire you know like entire entire businesses built around it in terms of like siege studios for instance um you know they they have full-time employees they do tutorials for patreon they are registered with like trust pilot so there are you know reviews they cannot affect they they have that set up as a way to show that they are a business that delivers on what they do and then you've also got people who operate just as one single person they just put the box together that you want they'll paint it up i mean like uh 
like Paige on Twitter is is a really good fast painter, and they do commission painting. Both of those are legitimate. You've got a huge, you know, like a big business with multiple employees doing multiple things. Then you've got Pidge doing just one person. They are just one person, but they operate in the same sphere, doing the same thing. And again, it's that similar thing with, with like, looking for pro-painted stuff on eBay. Technically, they're all in the same sphere, but the actual differences in... In quality, in in terms of... I mean, I think it's fair to say quality. I, I've been trying to steer away from, from using that word, but actually, there are, like, varying levels. You do have, like, tabletop standard, and then there's, like, display standard, and then you've got all the way up to, like, Golden Demon, just complete baffling insanity that I don't understand how you're supposed to get that good. You know, everything between there, I suppose there are variations of quality in terms of how much detail you want to put in, but it's just such a minefield. It's such a pain to navigate because every time you sit down and look for something, it's like, I would like a, I would like, let's have a look for a pro painted chaos sorcerer. Okay, you've got this guy and you've got this guy, and they are so completely different, both in approach and amount of time taken and, you know, standard, but they both cost the same. Is this person taking the piss? Is this person just vastly undervaluing themselves? Should this person even call themselves a pro painter? Have they painted a bunch of models professionally, or have they just thrown this up out of nowhere? It's just an absolute minefield. It's just an absolute minefield that is impossible to... to I mean, if you're trying to start out and you decide, I'd prefer to just buy my models painted, I can't even imagine trying to trying to navigate that as a newer like a newer to the hobby newer to painting person it must just be an absolute pain in the ass how do you even deal with it oh man there's no real conclusion to this it's just been bugging me it's just been bugging me because i i keep looking for you know like dreadnoughts especially and there's just such a vast difference in in like quality and definition and Price and a, a such an absolute minefield, <laughs> such a completely confused space where you just have no idea what any of it means at this point. From that point, does it really mean anything? I don't know. Let me know your experiences with searching for pro painted models on eBay. I'd be fascinated to know if you've had the same issue as me, where you just get like vastly different things cropping up all the time. And, don't really know what's going on, or whether you've actually been very lucky with it, or whether you found things that you would definitely say that absolutely does not belong there. Like whether you found stuff that is like dipped it in the paint, left out in the sun to dry, and then put it on eBay and then said pro painted. I'd be really interested to see if you've got like any particular horror stories, actually. That'd be interesting. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, there's the affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can support the channel with every time you use it. I get something for sending you that way, and you were going to buy all the plastic crack anyway, especially now that we can actually buy stuff again, which is bad for me because I've got a cart full of Necrons that I shouldn't buy. Oh boy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.